Matthew Morris, MM Wood Studio. I'm here in my shop and I just recently finished the Gamble House rocking chair, which means the shop is a total disaster. I don't know about you guys, but as I get close to finishing a project, putting things away kind of goes out the window. Usually I'm a very organized person. I take the tools out, I use them, I put them back in, but the very, very last bit of a project, things kind of just end up everywhere. What I like to do is take everything from the project and put it into something that I can store it in. So for this project, like all of my others, uh, I put these into these plastic bins. When I build chairs, unfortunately, usually, I can't get everything inside of this because some of the parts are just too long. So in that case, I end up getting a different or another um, box as well. So up here on the wall, it's just some of the templates and jigs for this Gamble House rocking chair. So this guy here, for instance, is actually this is not for the rocking chair, but for the standing chairs, the Gamble House armchair leg routing jig. And this is to cut the pattern, now one of the sides of the pattern. So this guy is really long. It seems to fit right into my piece of uh, plastic storage container. Now this curve here, will fit, but a prop might fit in here too. So let's set that aside. But these guys for sure will not fit into the um, rectangular one. They have to, the tall rectangular one, they need to fit into the shorter, longer rectangular one. And these are uh, templates for the rear leg. And then behind these guys is more. These are all from the armchair. And then this guy here is really long. Same thing, it's gonna need to go in here. And this is what allows me to find the location for routing um, the mortise for the rear leg in the armchair. Now it's a little bit too long, but I don't need all this extra material. So I'm just gonna head over to the bandsaw, chop off the end and get it into the box. Okay, I've got both boxes here and I ended up deciding to put the rocker bending form um, inside of this box and I'm probably gonna have to get another one of these in order to get the um, jigs for the rear legs for the armchair in here so for now they may have to still live in the shop for a little bit I'm gonna put the heaviest stuff and the biggest stuff on the bottom first Once I have these guys filled up, the next thing I like to do is to grab these big black trash bags and use them to enclose the entire plastic box here. I keep all these templates, all the jigs, everything for all of these projects. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, I may want to build the piece again because I may get a commission. And number two is in the deep, far away future, um, I may want to open up a real traditional um, woodworking school. The next thing I do is I just start putting stuff away in its place in preparation for blowing the entire shop out. All right, now of course, the all important blowing out of the shop. There is just so much dust and dirt that's in there. Now, uh, I'm gonna finish, this is gonna be part one. Part two is going to be about all the machine maintenance after I finish the project. So um, I'm gonna move some stuff around here, throw some um, air protection on, some goggles, a face mask, all that fun stuff, and blow this out as best that I can. Um, so as always, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and uh, have a great week in the shop, and uh, I'm going to get the cleaning now.